few days back we got an update of spice os 6.4 and in the last month i forgot to overview this rom and use it for years so in this video we going to deal with this spice os 6.4 let us see is it good to use or not in your device for redmi note 10 and i will share everything to related to this so if you are new to my channel and watches every content related to the custom rom tech miui and any smartphone tech related content then you can subscribe and give a thumbs up to this video so let's get started to the video so first of all this is the about phone section of this device and this is equipped with the android 13 spice os 6.4 and the android security update of the latest february 5th 2023 with the latest and very fast what do you say west coast super fast kernel and it performs damn great and we got a must thing that is seen in status enforcing right now now talking about much more things first of all i would like to talk about the smoothness and everything in this custom rom so first of all talking about the smoothness we get a much better smoothness it feels like we are getting 120 hertz refresh rate smoothness over this 60 hertz panel of this device everything opens flawlessly no issues that you can play, face so far i am checking and uh, another things like ram management and it performs and that criteria also good so in terms of smoothness everything is working fine if i scroll anything it doesn't have any sort of lag so now let's move forward to the customization part of this rom so let us go to the settings and this is the bravery from here you can customize your status bar like network traffic indicator from here as usuals and yeah it is working fine you can see that network traffic indicator is above down here and it is working that as much as it can this is the status bar items that you can see in the here here is much more customization that you have to customize with yourselves and there is the quick settings also over there you can must try out you can enable data usage from here you can see that the data usage of mine is been shown out it can be shown for both what do you say wifi or mobile data now talking about here is another customization for the power menu lock screen in the themes options you get the headline icon pack there is many icon pack available headline body font is much more available like samsung is uh, many devices body font and other body fonts were available you can apply at your devices now this is the notifications options and here is edge lighting and everything that you will going to use so i will not go into detail because it will spoil it for you all that you can't use that at your own if i'll get give you the spoiler so uh, this is the miscellaneous option you get the ripple effect ignore window secure flags and guys if you're watching this video until now then please subscribe and don't think that it please subscribe and give a thumbs up to this video now this is the smart pixels option but i don't recommend to use this uh, it creates uh, way bad display looks so i don't think you can use this this is screen off animation like you can use this as it is it feels good and if you want this type of such a wallpapers then you can get it from my telegram channel so ever now this is all for the what do you say customization and smoothness part of this custom rom now let us dive into the benchmarks and performance that this uh, rom is opting to all of us so now as you can see that I have taken some of the screenshots of the benchmarks. So first, uh, let us start with the CPU throttling test. This is the CPU throttling test. I have set it to number of threads hundred for fifteen minutes, and it did perform pretty good results for fifteen minutes. You can see that the, as an average, it performs max one lakh eighty four thousand GIPS, which is best and for seventy nine percent max performance. Now this is another CPU throttling test with the thermal profiles enabled. This is the only custom room I am seeing out of many. What do you say months that the thermal profiles is working damn great. You can see that the max GIPS has also been increased so far with the CPU throttling is to ninety one percent max performance for the fifteen minutes. Now talking about another thing, we got an open CL score of the Geekbench which is four one six as far as I can tell. This is a wildlife stress test that you can must consider. It performs a stability of ninety nine dot eight percentile which is damn good for the performance now every time i told that performance scores does not matters in the real life and this is the average frame rate of 2.90 
and in the benchmark of the Geekbench, I uh, ran all the with the performance mode and it equipped with the 537 and 15. Sorry, 15, 13. The multi core. It is damn great scores. Now this is the only customer I am seeing in right now that it giving it is giving me my Wi-Fi connection. 30 Mbps plan consistently in your this device. As you can see that I got equipped with the 28.3 Mbps of download and 33 up of upload. This is the Android benchmark that you must consider on your device with a 2,87,000 scores with a up in temperature of 4 degrees Celsius and there is a little 2% of battery drop. As it is the all of the what do you say benchmark that I have run so far and if you ask me about the safety net status does it pass? Yes, it does pass the safety net status. Let us run that and see that it does pass or not. Yeah, it does pass. And if you ask me about the DRM info that we can stream on the L1 or not. So this is the L1 secure level. So we can stream Netflix content in full HD without any issues so far. Now talking about that, is there any bug? Yeah, is there is a smaller bug that you can notice whenever I open the quick settings. And if I going to edit this, you can see that when I press that, the screen goes black. And after a few seconds, it will get restart. So it is a quite a bug that is not working in this device. I give a feedback to his uh, maintainer. Uh, who is that? I don't know. But please uh, try to improve it with another update. This is not a big issue, but for someone like me, it is a big issue. And this is all for the review of this custom ROM. Now, here it comes that shall I recommend this custom ROM to you all your usage? Yeah, I gonna do recommend this custom ROM if you don't have any quick setting issues that um, there is a bug so ever. All the banking apps are working fine. No issues that you're gonna face. The battery life is also good. The charging of 33 watt is working fine. I did ran check for the two to three times and I use this device with the battery usage. I can't face any issues so forever. So you can must try out these in your device. So if you really loved enjoying this video, then please give a subscribe and like the video. So thanks for watching. Till then, bye bye.